Easy Technology fans, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to enable tabs for File Explorer on Windows 11. Now, there was a reason why I created the last video on how to upgrade to Windows 11 to H22 version. And uh, the reason was because in this tutorial, you do need to have that greatest version or the latest version on Windows 11 for this tutorial to work. And if you're not sure which version you are on currently, then it's simple. Go ahead and choose the Start menu and go to Settings. Under System, go ahead and scroll down, choose About. And as you can see right over here under Windows Specs, you can see your version. So mine is the latest at 22H2. If you don't know how to get to that latest version, then please check out the last video I have made. And before we do get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you do like to learn about Windows 10 or Windows 11 tutorials, as well as Android phone tutorials and tips and tricks on these operating systems. All right, so first things first, go ahead and open up the settings. So we are already under settings. So now what we're going to do is go down and press on Windows Update. And what you want to do is select check for updates here if it says that. So go ahead and choose select or check for updates. And if there is an update, as you can see on mine, it says restart required. All right. And you do need to restart your computer now. So go ahead and restart the computer or make the latest updates to your computer. And you should be able to see tabs on your file explorer. However, if you do not see tabs on your file explorer as such, then you do need to forcefully do it through another method. So I'll be showing you this method right now. Go ahead and open up the internet browser and simply go to this website. And what you wanna do is scroll down, go ahead and select the Vive tool v0.3.2 zip file to download. All right, so it should download right there. Go ahead and open up the file explorer and go to downloads. Now we're going to select that file once and select extract all. All right, and go ahead and select the location to extract your folder. Choose extract. And as you can see, it has successfully been extracted. So what you wanna do is select this directory. Go ahead and choose control C to copy the exact directory. And now we need to open up the start menu so we can minimize everything from here. Open up the start menu and type in CMD and go ahead and select run as administrator. Choose yes to allow any changes. All right, so now you need to type in this exact command exactly how it appears. Type in CD space and then you need to control V to paste the exact directory in which you have just copied and select enter. So it's going to search or it's going to take you inside that folder. And now what you need to do is type in this exact command. Select enter. So it should say successfully set feature configuration. And there's another command. So again, copy and paste this exactly as it appears. Go ahead and select enter. And once again, it should say successfully set feature configuration. And last but not least, to enable File Explorer's new navigation pan, you need to type in this command. And once again, choose enter. All right, so that was the final command. And if everything went correctly, you typed everything in right, it should say successfully set feature for all of them. And now what you need to do is simply exit out of this and restart your computer. All right, and once you restart your computer, if you open up the file explorer, you should be able to see tabs on your file explorer. So as you can see, at the top here, you can press on this little plus icon and it can open up many tabs 
and you can do multiple things on those tabs and just like you would on a internet browser so it's very easy you have many tabs all right so that concludes my tutorial i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching